our Hebrew brothers and sisters, welcome back. This is your Moray Yeshua Ben Uriah Israel. And we just want to continue to thank you for your support in subscribing and in your praying for us. We ask that you continue to subscribe and that you continue to ask your friends and loved ones to subscribe and to make comments to this channel. As we move towards getting to our goal so we can go live. My brothers and my sisters, uh, in the last session, we talk about Hebrew versus Judaism. And we mentioned to you that Abraham was not a Jew. It is widely believed among Judaism that Abraham was the founder of the Jewish religion. When Judaism was formed, Abraham was nowhere around. Remember we said that Abraham, he has Isaac, then Isaac has Jacob. Jacob's name was changed from Jacob to Israel. The children of Israel, okay, Jacob's and his sons, with the exception of that Joseph was in Egypt already. Jacob and his other 11 sons and their families, total about 70 people. They were in Egypt, lived in Goshen, because Joseph revealed to Pharaoh that his father was alive and well and if you remember the story how they went on to buy grain during the, during this, the, the famine and how Joseph revealed to himself that he was the one that they sold into um, the hands of the Ishmaelites, okay, and the Midianites. All right, so you know the story there. It's a long story and how they were in Egypt for over 400 years multiplied, intermarried to Egyptians, came out of, out of Egypt, led by Mo Moshe and Moses, the prophet, who was also an Israelite, a black Israelite. There were no white Israelites. There were black people. Since that you be, I don't like to use the word black people, but since that, that's what they refer to us as. And it's easily understood. The dark brown people, right? So the story here that Abraham is the founder of, 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 of Judaism, there's nowhere in the scripture that teaches that. Okay? Judaism is not found in the scripture, not in the Torah, not the rest of the Tanakh. Okay, I just want to let you know that there's no way. This is a, a man-made religion, a tradition. Okay? When Yeshua was born, they had that religion going. And Yeshua got in trouble with them because he did not see out of the eyes of the people. And the fact that uh, our ancestor, um, you know, I mean, our, our, our 
ancestor Abraham that he was a righteous, godly man. He obeyed Yeshua, or Yahuwah, rather, and went into the, the land. According to Judaism, they want to say Abraham was basically the, the only godly man. But there are many other godly men. Okay, and a, a good example, do you remember the story in, this, in, the, in the Torah when Lot, his nephew, was taken, it was, remember he was in Sodom, and another country came up against Sodom and captured, captured Lot. And Abraham got his men and went and fought and retake his nephew, took him back, rescued him. If Abraham was the only righteous man at that time and only godly man at that time, who was Melchizedek? You ever thought about that? Melchizedek was a Canaanite priest. He was a high priest. He was a godly man. So it's not all the people of that land were ungodly. Some were godly. Some were righteous men. And it is said that Yeshua, Yeshua was of the order of Melchizedek. He was a prophet. He was a priest and king. Yeshua was born a king. Amen. Yeshua was a priest. He offered himself. Yeshua was a prophet. He tells of things that were going to come to pass, and they did. But most of all, he, Yeshua, he is the son of our Elohim. Yeshua is also God. Amen? Praise his name. Praise his name. So there's, they, they, in Judaism, they don't believe that Yeshua, the Messiah, has come yet. They, 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 to them, he is a future thing. He hasn't come yet. My brothers have good news. When he comes back, he's not coming to be born a Messiah. They're looking for a Messiah that's going to come. And I'm so, so sorry for them who believe that. Because Yeshua has already come as the Messiah. When he returned, he is coming to set up his kingdom among us. You can claim to be something that you are not. In, in Revelation, he said, those who claim to be Jews and are not Jews, he said, they are the synagogue of Satan. So Yeshua is coming back. Not to be born as a babe. He's not coming to be a new Messiah that they're looking for. He's coming back to reign. He is coming back to reign. Another thing that Hebrew believers do not believe in the Talmud. Talmudic writing is a reinterpretation of what they refer to as a commentary of the law of the Torah. They take it and they put it in, in, the, in you know, the way they want to, to um, you know. So Judaism, they, they, believe, they believe in Torah. They believe in the founder of Judaism as Abraham. They believe in the temple. Well, we know that there was a temple. The temple was destroyed, was built by Solomon. It was destroyed. 
They believe in Jewish holy books. The only holy books we believe in is the Torah and the Tanakh. And we accept the New Testament. They are not the original writing, but we accept them. Okay? Because the apostles, we believe they were called of Yahuwah. Okay? We don't believe in Talmudic, we believe in Shabbat. You know? They talk about the Judaism and the persecution. Let me tell you, they, they have their persecution, but there's no more persecution worse than what they did to the Hebrew Israelites. Nobody talking about that. It was, it, it was wrong for Hitler to persecute and to kill so many. Even Hitler himself understand that he was a great grand, a grandson of, one, of, of a Jew. Okay? And he was going around, you know, killing and maiming people. Right? And let me say this, my brothers and my sisters. Naming Israel as the homeland for the Jews. The people who are living there, the people who are living in, in Israel, people who, they, they, were, they were people of color living there who were bloodline descendants of Jacob. Okay? We know that there are different kinds and different sects of Judaism. Okay? There are different sects of Ju 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 Judaism. We have the Orthodox Jews, we have the, um, you know, Hasidic Jews. You know, Orthodox Judaism is a diverse sect that um, includes several subgroups, including the Hasidic Jews. And it's from this, you know, we know that um, they, 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 they started in the, I would say probably between the 17th and the 18th century. Okay? Um, then we have these, uh, these, these people, you know, uh, they, they include um, Eastern Europeans people, uh, different values, they have different values, different tradition, you know, they have, you know, what, what you call ultra um, Judaism, uh, ultra, uh, uh, what do you say, orthodox Judaism, okay? I say the Jews emphasize um, mystical experience with Yahuwah that involves different communication through prayers and worship. Um, you know, you're calling the Shabbat is a well-known Orthodox Jewish Hasidic movement. All right, we have the Reformed Jews, Reformed Judaism, okay? We have um, conservative um, Judaism, okay? Many, many consider themselves a form of, um, you know, uh, many people consider themselves uh, this form of Judaism somewhere between the Orthodox and the Reform and typically con conservative Jews, they do honor uh, the traditions of Judaism while allowing some modernization among them, okay? We have what you call the Reconstructionist Judaism. Uh, we have um, Humanistic Judaism, you know, we have the, you know, these people, they form, form themselves into different groups, okay? You know, so, um, but we know some of them, some of the beliefs that they hold, we have those beliefs, okay? But we know that we are children, descendants of Jacob, of his, his, one of his 12 sons, okay? That's where we are from, Okay? And we want to continue to live for him, for Yahuwah, he call us. We don't want to be like our ancestors, disobedient. We want to live for him. Okay? My time is up. Well, my brothers and my sisters, let me say this. We want you to walk with the king and be a blessing. 
and we say shalom.